Just a month to go before Syracuse University plans to start its spring semester. And when it does, News Channel Line's Madison Moore says the school will have an even more rigorous testing plan than it did in the fall. With only a couple of spikes, Syracuse University was able to make it through almost the whole fall semester with in-person learning. Part of it they credit to the 100,000 COVID tests conducted on students, faculty, and staff. The plan for the spring is to just about triple that amount to between 250 and 300,000 tests and return test results in a day to a day and a half. The school has also adopted a new testing method which requires people to self-administer a saliva deposit, also known as a spit test. This test will reduce the amount of time to process the samples and get those results back quicker. Another change they're making is to increase the size of the stadium testing center here at the Dome to enhance physical distancing and increase speed and efficiency. Lastly, rather than the random testing used in the fall, a new standardized testing plan for the spring semester for all students, faculty, and staff who routinely access campus. Residential students should expect that beginning in January, they will be required to be tested every seven days. In Syracuse, Madison Moore, News Channel 9. As she was also planning to increase the 30 to 50 students they've had in the fall for contract tracing by hiring a cohort of full-time employees to help out.